We start tonight with unsettling footage. An Odessa bus driver catches drivers going past her school bus stop sign as children are getting off to walk home. It's a problem police say must end before a child is hurt or worse. Local 2's Don Log joining us live in the studio to tell us more about the issue. Don? Stephanie, it's a problem I saw for myself today. A driver disregarding a bus's stop sign as kids were heading home. And one bus driver telling me, even though it's against the law, it happens every single day. There's times where I honk at them and I'm waving my arms at them out the window and they're still going. Ector County ISD bus driver Heather Herrera fed up with others behind the wheel for constantly ignoring signs that are meant to keep kids safe. They pass my stop signs. My lights are out, the stop sign is out, and people just drive past me. Don't have a care in the world. Herrera taking this video this week while parked at a stop. She said she's astonished with others' disregard to the law and fears for the kids she takes home. I probably wouldn't be able to sleep or live with myself knowing that one of my kids got ran over. ECISD Police Lieutenant Jeff Daniels says law enforcement on the lookout. And we issue citations every day for vehicles overtake passing school buses. So if you're a violator and we catch you, you will be cited. And it's not a light fee. DPS says fines for running a school bus stop sign can be up to $1,250. So to avoid a dent in your wallet and the risk of a tragic accident, Daniels and Herrera have some simple advice. If you're in doubt, just stop. It doesn't matter if you don't think a kid's going to cross the street. Slow down. Pay attention to the warning signs that we have, our stop signs. You know, it's, it's the safety of our kids is what we're looking for. And we, heaven forbid anything ever happened to one of them. I asked Lieutenant Daniels if the district is using bus security cameras to catch violators. He says they don't have them at this time, but it's something he's willing to look into for the kids' safety. Reporting live in the studio, Don Log, Local 2 News.